What's up guys, Frank Fulci back again with another weekly haul unboxing and collection update video. Before we jump into things, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you are notifi notified, so you receive a notification uh, for future uploads. Welcome to the channel everybody, new subscriber, old subscriber, non-subscriber, everybody alike. Uh, let's jump into this, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, before I show you the unboxing stuff, I wanted to show you a few things I found out in the wild. I made a trip yesterday to the Archive, which some, some of you guys know already is the home of Vinegar Syndrome. But the Archive is their storefront where they sell, of course, Vinegar Syndrome titles and titles from other companies. So it's been a while since I was there. They were open, had limited, uh, you know, limited number of people in there at once. And uh, so me and a friend were able to go in there. Uh, a couple of things that I picked up, I'm going to show in a later video, probably sometime down the you know, in the middle of the week, an actual vinegar syndrome haul because I have a package from them and then the stuff I got from the store. But I got a couple of non-vinegar syndrome titles as well. First being Joint Security Area from Arrow. This is a newer uh, Arrow release. And I wasn't gonna pick this up right away, but I didn't realize this was a film by Park Chan-wook, which of course is the mastermind behind the, um, the Old Boy Trilogy and Thirst and Stoker and a bunch of other films that I actually quite enjoy. Um, the Handmaiden is another one of his, but yeah, a ton of special features here. This is a special edition. I don't necessarily think it's a limited edition of any kind, so you should be able to get your hands on this uh, on multiple, you know, multitude of sites and, you know, spots to pick up titles. Uh, another one that's not really horror in any way, shape, or form. It's an Arrow Academy title, and it's a 4K, and that, of course, is a... Cinema, Cinema Paradiso, Cinema Paradiso, as Americans would say. Um, yeah, this is, like I said, a 4K Ultra HD, and I wasn't sure if I was going to pick this up, but I figured, hey, man, it's an old-school Italian classic. Gotta have this. Again, a ton of special features, and, uh, you know, the arrow treatment, of course. And this is one that they had in, like, a little use section. I wasn't... I had a list of movies going in there, like, what I wanted to pick up. Some they didn't have, and then, then some there were a little extra that, like, I didn't expect to see. This was a used copy, like I said, of uh, a French film called Livid. Now, this is from the same creators of uh, Inside, you know, the original version of that film. And I had seen this years and years ago, actually, right when I discovered Inside. I had found, I don't know if I downloaded it at the time or whatever, a copy of Livid. And from what I remember, again, this was probably over 10 years ago at this point, I believe it's a pretty fucked up vampire story. So this one is Region B, it's from Studio Canal. Um, and uh, you know, luckily not too many people that go into Archive are actually multi, you know, region free people. So, or at least according to some of the guys that work there. So I was able to snag this before anyone else did. $14, not too bad of a price. Uh, I was also able to pick up some non-movie stuff, but also horror at uh, Walmart near a friend of mine. Uh, again, not too many Walmarts near me. You've probably heard me say that in past videos, but they had a bunch of horror stuff there and I couldn't pass up the opportunity. So first, I picked up a new, well, new for me. It's pretty new, I think. New Funko Pop. And this is uh, Creep from Creep Show, uh, you know, the television series version uh, on Shutter from AMC. So awesome, very happy to have that. Haven't been picking up too many pops because again, I don't need to. I have way too many. And then I started picking up some of these, uh, what is the name of this company? I'm sure it's right in front of my fucking face. I think they just go by, yeah, Mego, which is Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios, but, uh, Silence of the Lambs is one of them. And these are pretty, you know, they're affordable, like 13 bucks each, I think. So not too shabby. Again, pretty simplistic in terms of, you know, you've seen me show off, uh, you know, the NECA Ultimates and things like that. But, of course, those are way more uh, expensive and, you know, rightfully so. They have a lot more going for them. But these are just, like, old-school throwback-style uh, action figures. Uh, here's one of Candyman, of course. And then I had to pick up Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. These were the three they had there, so, of course, I had to get them. Some of these packages are not in the greatest shape, but, again, couldn't pass up the opportunity to own those. I've passed up like on a leather face in the past because I wasn't really sure I was going to collect them. And then I've seen all these people showing them off. I was like, mm, I kind of want those. So, of course, I picked up the ones I found. And then last from uh, that Walmart run was a new uh, Toonie Terror for me. Uh, again, picking these up slowly. I don't really see them that often again because A, there's no Walmarts near me. And B, even some of the Walmarts I am able to stop in, they don't have any of them. But happy to pick up Ash uh, for that. 
Now let's get into all the stuff to unbox. There's quite a bit of stuff here, so hopefully you have some time. I'm gonna fly, try to fly through them pretty quickly just because A, my fucking video cameras cuts off at 23 minutes, and B, nobody wants to sit here and listen to me yab all day. So there's a couple of these that I had actually sliced open during the week just because I wasn't sure what they were. I was waiting for like some wrestling DVDs and shit, so I didn't want to sit here and open them and be like, oh, this is a Ring of Honor, this is Pro Wrestling Gorilla for people who don't care about that kind of shit. So this one was actually, a, also it confused me because I ordered stuff from Amazon not realizing they were third party sellers. So when they came, they weren't in official Amazon packaging. So this being one of them, this is a movie called Portals. And I believe this is an anthology film yeah, sci-fi anthology. The reason I got this is because there's a segment or segments from uh, directed by Timo Ta Taja Janto, who you guys have heard me uh, mention a few times probably in the last couple of videos. Uh, one half of the Mo brothers, although they are not actually brothers. One is named Timo, one is named Kimo. Indonesian filmmakers who make incredible fucking movies. But this is Portals. Again, is a sci-fi anthology tied together by a single event, the appearance of cosmic portals around the world. While many flee from them, the real terror sets in when others are drawn into these mysterious voids. So we have Greg Hale, who did a segment in VHS2. We have Liam O'Donnell, from, who did Beyond Skyline, which I'm not aware of. Eduardo Sanchez, who did Blair Witch Project, and a segment in VHS2. And of course, Timo, who did The Night Comes For Us, May The Devil Take You, all sorts of awesome fucking uh, movies. So. That's Portals. Happy to have that one. That was one I didn't know about until I started looking up Teemo stuff again. Here's another one. I believe this was a... No, no, that was an eBay one. Let me see, there was some other Amazon shit. I guess technically it doesn't matter the order in which I do this. I think this was it. I would sliced it and then put it back just to show you guys. Yeah, this is another one I got on uh, Amazon. Really cheap. Kiss of the Damned, and now this is the Magnet releasing a uh, release from a few years back of the remake of this film. I haven't seen the original or the remake. I saw Team Money showing this off recently, and he had mentioned that Amazon had it for cheap. So yeah, I jumped on there. I was like, man, it's a Magnet title that I don't own, and it's one that I've been wanting to see. Although I heard it's not the greatest, but uh, it was like four bucks. So couldn't pass up the opportunity to grab that one. Um, this one, like I said, it was from eBay. It's another one that I had just previously sliced open. The packaging was done pretty good. The problem is they put it in there too tight, so it's hard to really grab it out of there. So let's see if I can do this without slicing my appendages off. Oh fuck, I just cut the slip cover. But it wasn't in the greatest shape anyway, so. This is the 4K release of Mayhem. Now, like I said, the slipcover is fucking beat to shit, but it was like one of the only listings on eBay with the slipcover for the 4K version. Uh, it's a film that I haven't seen. I know it's on Shutter, but I didn't realize until recently that Samara Weaving is in this, and I fucking love her so much. So I knew I had to grab this pretty quickly. Again, it's hard to find with a slip. Uh, I know that doesn't actually fucking matter, but for some collectors like myself, it does. So. <clears throat> Can't wait for this. I heard it's fucking fun. And right here on the back, you know, Ball to the Wall Cinematic Anarchy. Uh, I don't know why it's taking me so long to watch this and or buy it, but there it is, guys. Better late than never, as they say. This one, I don't know if this was an eBay pickup or a uh, Amazon one. Oh, this is an eBay one. This is unfortunately a DVD which I've been picking up quite a few of recently, but that's because there's stuff that is DVD only still out there. This one is fucking three extremes. And what do you know? There's a segment from uh, Park Chan-wook, which I had mentioned just a couple of minutes ago. And of course, Takashi Miike and Fruit Chan. Uh, so three extremes. This is one I've actually never seen in its entirety from front to back. So I'm excited to own this. Uh, 2004 is when it came out, and like I said, it's an anthology. This looks to be a fucking former rental because there's a rental sticker on there, but whatever. This was like eight bucks, including shipping on eBay. So, as long as the movie plays, I guess I can't be too picky about that. God damn. Um, here's one from it's in an Amazon package. I'm not sure if this is one that I ordered from Amazon, so let's see because it's not packed the way a normal Amazon package would come. Oh yes, this was an eBay pickup. One I've wanted for a little bit, I mean, especially since 
uh, Christmas just passed, but this is the import version of the remake of Black Christmas. Now, not the most recent remake, but the 2006 version, also known as Black Xmas. Uh, there is no, at least, affordable copy of it on Blu-ray from the States. You go on eBay and there's like hundreds of dollars and all this shit and crazy stuff. I guess it was extremely limited or rare or whatever, but this is the German Blu-ray now. It has English audio. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it has English subtitles, which even in an English language audio track, I always have subtitles on just because I don't want to miss out on shit that is said. And I do quite a bit because, uh, I don't know, if it's a hearing issue. I've had all sorts of tests and they tell me it's not. So, uh, of course, I don't trust the healthcare industry, but that's a story for another day. And this is all region, by the way. So if you are looking to get this, this one, you know, it was like 20 something bucks. He had it listed for like 25 and free shipping and then I was able to put an offer in of like 20 and he accepted so I was pretty happy about that $20 not too bad on a blu-ray that I wanted to see for a little bit so here's an Amazon one I don't understand why Amazon ships stuff in these sometimes and then wow this is something I didn't even order what the fuck ships them in this kind of packaging sometimes and then the other little like blue and white mailers but Damn, man, you have great suggestions in your wish list. I ordered one for each of us. Let us know what you think. Thanks. Damn, Bill, you didn't have to do this. Bill, an awesome uh, subscriber and watcher, you know, slash viewer of mine, picked up Mom and Dad. <laughs> I watched this one recently for the first time, and it was fucking incredible. I don't know why I waited so long to see this. This one, I think, yeah, I think it was... Bear with me, guys. I can't see shit with these contact lenses in. I think it was from 2018. I talked about this in the every movie I watched in December video, which I'll put up, you know, a link to in the, you know, in the top here. But awesome fucking movie, horror comedy, awesome uh, Nicolas Cage act, acting. I was gonna say action, but yeah, I guess you could say that too. But incredible film. Thank you, Bill. Happy to own this in the collection now. That's fucking awesome, brother. Did not expect that. So this one is from Amazon as well. A third different kind of packaging what the fuck are they doing over there very odd i haven't gotten amazon shit in a package like this in a very long time luckily none of these things are damaged because notor uh, amazon is notorious for that type of shit as well but these are another two again all these amazon ones that i picked up besides the one that bill sent me of course uh they were cheap and i hadn't ordered from amazon in a while so i wanted to have some stuff to show off on the channel and again stuff that i've been meaning to pick up uh well this one was cheap this was like seven bucks an English Haunting. Now, this is a supernatural film, which you can guess by the title. Uh, this is directed by the same guy uh, who did The Barge People, which I watched recently. And he has another uh, few movies out there already that I kind of want to see. But my first experience with him was, you know, this past year with The Barge People, which I loved everything about that movie. I think I did a full review on it, actually, at ForwardPulsiveReviews.com. But written, produced, and directed by Charlie Steeds is his name. So, again, another one that's DVD only, unfortunately, or at least that I could see. And I think there's another one that... Uh, T-Money actually picked up also. So as I was watching T-Money's video, I was just adding stuff to my Amazon cart. Again, uh, the prices were acceptable. So I was like, ah, let me throw these in there. Here's another Magnet one. This is a newer one. I didn't even realize Magnet was even still putting movies out. Honestly, this is called Alone. And uh, oh, it says 2018, but I don't, yeah, 2020 for the actual release from Magnolia Home Entertainment, who of course is behind Magnet releasing. Um, J Jules Wilcox stars as Jessica, a grief-stricken widow who flees the city in an attempt to cope with the loss of her husband. When Jessica is kidnapped by a mysterious man and locked in a cabin in the Pacific Northwest, she escapes into the wilderness and is pursued by her captor. The key cast includes Mark Menchaca from Ozark and The Outsider. Oh, shit. And Anthony Heald, The Silence of the Lambs. Oh, this looks fucking sick. This is gonna be awesome. Can't wait to see that one. Again, happy to have some newer magnet stuff. Damn, here's another one from Amazon. This is the last one from Amazon, then there's one more box and we are done, guys. <clears throat> now, I didn't think I ordered this many things from Amazon. It's funny, they all came separately, besides, you know, those last two, obviously. Ah, these were other exciting ones, and again, pricing was pretty good. Um, two newer ones. This is a Shutter original, again, so I could just throw on Shutter and fire, you know, fire up the old Roku stick, throw on Shutter and check this out, but Obviously, you guys are here because you know I love physical media. So, uh, this is called Spiral, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. Shutter Originals have had a fucking, at least in my book, a uh, pretty strong record of being pretty fucking awesome. So, 
uh, I don't have any uh, expectations on this, except for the fact that I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty good, but I don't really know much about it. I won't even read this uh, synopsis so that it's a mystery for everyone. I mean, I guess you guys can pause that. Hopefully this is focused enough that you can pause and read that, but I'm not gonna sit here and read anymore. But um, yeah, happy to have this. Special features, interview with the writers of Spiral and on the set of Spiral. So I'm assuming you wouldn't get that by watching it just on Shutter. Here's another one that everyone seems to be ranting and raving about, and that is The Dark and the Wicked. Now this is made, so it's from the writer and director of The Strangers. That's fucking awesome. So that is of course Brian Bertino. Um, again, this is on Shutter, I believe. Cause there is the shutter there. I didn't, I don't think it's a shutter exclusive though, or shut, yeah, it's not considered a shutter original. Uh, again, special features Fantasia QA with Marin Ireland and Michael Abb Jr., who I'm assuming are just uh, performers in the uh, in the film itself. But awesome, can't wait to check that one out. And then we have one final little package here, guys. I don't think too many people are going to be too happy about this, and I'm not even sure I'm that happy about this box, to be honest, but I felt I had... It was required of me to order these titles, or at least one I'm excited about. The other just kind of bought just to have. This is, of course, from Grindhouse Video in Tampa. I like to order from them quite a bit, uh, along with, like, a Diabolical DVD, you know, Diabolic DVD. Uh, first, I'll show this one that I was wanting to get uh, more so than la the next one. And this is Torched. This is another one from Ryan Nicholson, uh, RIP, the late director. And uh, if you guys don't know, On Earth Films worked out a deal with him before his passing of they were going to basically remaster, re-edit, recut, whatever, uh, his entire filmography. So I think this is like the fourth or fifth now they've done in a row. I've had all the other ones and they were all pretty fucking awesome in their own right. Of course, all the work, the hard work that Stephen Bureau and the Unearthed people do behind the scenes uh, makes these releases worth it, even if you don't enjoy the films 100%. But again, the films are fucking good. This is one I have not seen, but something like Gutter Balls and Famine and all these other ones that they've put out are pretty fucking fun. Again, they're not for everyone. They're pretty offensive. Uh, so if you're not a strong person, I don't know, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm not even talking just in terms of gore, but if you're sensitive to words like faggot and things like that, which is totally fine if you are, but some of the dialogue in these movies are, um, again, not for everyone, pretty uh, insensitive, of course, but that's the way horror goes sometimes, unfortunately, so I apologize to all you guys out there, but uh, yeah, you should know what you're getting yourselves into. This one, again, like I said, I'm pretty happy to have a bunch of extras on here. I don't think it's as, you know, packed up as the other Unearthed uh, Nicholson stuff, but and uh, from what I understand, this is pretty short, you know, it's 44 minute movie, so one you could just throw on randomly whenever, so I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, and this one, not looking forward to too much. Again, I felt like I should just have it in the collection because you gotta do it, especially with the uh, treatment that Unearth has given this. And this is, of course, a Serbian film. You guys already know how famous or infamous, rather, this one is for uh, some known and unknown reasons, I guess. But there's, again, a lot of extras on this. Now, this is considered the... Uh... I get confused because Unearth is doing a couple of different versions of this, but I guess this is the uncut version. And then there's gonna be a version, I think in a few months time, or within the next few months of like a extended version that no one's ever seen ever. So uncut or not, there's gonna be an even longer version uh, with a documentary and everything that they're working on. So this one has commentary with the director and Steven, of course, from Unearth. Commentary with Joe Lynch and Adam Green, which I'm looking forward to checking out actually. So I'm gonna have to throw that on. A Q and A with the director. Q&A from Brussels International Fantastic Film Festival, Serbian Film Exhibition, Behind the Scenes, oh, Serbian Documentary Preview, which is, again, the documentary I just mentioned um, coming later, uh, photo gallery and trailer. So, again, slipcover, cool, different picture than what I've seen on uh, various arts of all these releases over the years. But happy to have that just for the fact that I said I like to support on our films, especially with the last, within the last year, I've really uh, grown to enjoy what they're doing uh, again, a lot of their movies are extreme because that's what that label does, but uh, I've enjoyed quite a, f a few of the newer ones. Uh, this is the last one, actually. I forgot I had this package. This is something I was waiting for for literally two months. It was shipped on November 26th, and they are the Scream Factory uh, replacement discs for the Friday the 13th set. So now I have these. I actually hadn't jumped in, gotten to these films in that set yet, so happy that when I do, I'll have the corrected ones, although... 
I'm not gonna lie guys, I've mentioned in the past, I'm not a film historian, I'm not a film expert, so I, what I have even noticed, the stuff that's missing from those other uh, discs, chances are I wouldn't. So, uh, either way, glad to have the replacement discs finally. I was tracking them every once in a while to see, and it was literally stuck in, I think it went from Jersey to Pennsylvania like six times uh, over a period of like three, four weeks. Not sure what the fuck the postal service is doing, but <clears throat> maybe one day I'll catch up to themselves. Uh, anyway, guys, that is it for today. A bunch of awesome stuff, and luckily I was able to get through it in a timely manner. So obviously, as you can see, a bunch of awesome fucking movies here, and this isn't even all of them, because there's three others that I can't really lift, but a bunch of awesome ones. They're a lot bigger than my last haul, if I remember correctly. Uh, then, of course, you saw all the collectibles and things like that. Don't need to recap for you guys, because you just watched the video. So anyway, like I said in the beginning, I hope everyone is doing well and is healthy and safe, and you guys are doing everything you need to do. And you're able to see your family, whether it's virtually or socially distanced or however responsible way you're trying to do this. Uh, again, I hope you guys are able to do that and, uh, you know, be with the people that, you know, make you enjoy life. Uh, it's hard to do in this uh, time, but we're getting there, guys. Hopefully the end is in sight of all this crap. Uh, hit me in the comments below, guys. Make sure you, uh, you know, let me know what you like of these titles. Did I pick up good ones? Are there some hidden gems in here? Because a lot of these I haven't seen yet. So let me know which one is the best one of what I picked up. Are you collecting these uh, Mego figures? Are you collecting these Toonie Terrors? Well, how did I do on picking up this creep? This one was like eight bucks, this Funko. So I was pretty happy to see that and I had to grab it for that price. Uh, yeah, make sure, like I said in the beginning, you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, hit me on the socials, those links are down below. Repulsivereviews.com, link is down below. Merch site is down below. Horrorcore wiki site is down below. Bunch of awesome stuff. Uh, you see Bill send me that thing. Again, I never uh, require you guys to send me stuff, of course, because as you can see, I buy my own stuff. But if you want to help out in any way, the Amazon wishlist is down below as well. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, until next time, peace out and be good.